I really don't want to make this video, but it is literally a matter of life and death for the people of North Carolina. So my name is Jonathan Howard. I'm a member of the Florida State Guard Special Missions Unit. And I'm also up here with Aerial Recovery, a nonprofit. I came up here on Sunday with Aerial Recovery before we even got activated. We flew up here and then we got activated, which was great. I have my team up here working as well. Here's the problem. I'm gonna tell you everything that's happening from the ground, what I'm actually seeing, because what they're telling you is complete bullshit on the news and these politicians don't have a fucking clue and they're lying. Now I'll say this now, I'll say it at the end of the video. The only thing I need from this video is helicopters. If I have helicopters, I can save lives. Without helicopters, I can't reach these people. It doesn't matter how many chainsaws and trucks I got, I can't get to them. They're 10 miles in, 20 miles, 40 miles in the mountains. There's no way to get with them or even communicate with them. I am literally flying around in a civilian helicopter looking for SOS messages carved in the mud or painted on the ground and we're dropping down and saving them. What got me fired up about this was yesterday, me and my team did the rescue of that 11 day year old baby. And all these government officials and social media, they're showing that video, that pictures and video of that rescue and claiming that like they have some like government helped with that. And I mean, it, even USA, I think it was USA Today wrote an article about it saying it was a Florida National Guard that went and got it, like with a helicopter. No, it was me, my buddy Charlie, and a civilian named Zeb with his own personal helicopter out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Like without that civilian, that baby would be dead. And the old lady we went and rescued after that, she'd be dead too because she had one day left of oxygen. There, no one was going to go get them. I will tell you when we go up in the air, I probably see 40 civilian helicopters, and I might see two Blackhawks, National Guard, military, whatever they are. That's it. No one's out there doing rescues. I have my entire team up here from Florida right now, and they have no ability to go rescue these people other than what they can drive to. And the people that are in dire need, they're out in the mountains. They are completely cut off. Now, I will say, I spoke to my congresswoman down in Florida, and she's a badass. And she made a bunch of phone calls and now we got two contracted 60s coming up here tomorrow which is great i love that but like i still don't understand why we don't have more helicopters like we'll get a lot of work done with that but there's no uh, no there's no military there's no go, no one's doing nothing i just it, it blows my mind and they're not even allowing people to see what's really going on one of our friends yesterday they were actually escorting cnn down a late war and they wouldn't even let CNN, the sheriff department would not let them go videotape the bad areas, uh, how destructive it is. I don't know why they don't want to show you all that, but I mean, it is bad. I should also say, when I flew here on Sunday, they actually stopped us from going in, the sheriff department. And it was because of a bunch of politics that they were claiming was a speaker of the House of North Carolina that was preventing us from even going in and trying to kick us out which I have clarified today with North Carolina politicians that reached out to me, good on them. And they were like, that's complete bullshit. Speaker of the House has nothing. He wants you guys there. But this is the kind of political BS that is happening here right now. Like everyone's trying to be in charge without taking any type of action. Nobody wants to coordinate with anybody. Everybody wants to pretend like they're being the hero while these people are literally fucking dying in the mountains. And these people, like I'm saying, these people are limited medication, they're running out of oxygen and there's no one going to get them. The most effective way I have found to go find these people is by getting in a helicopter and flying down the rivers and roads and looking for SOS messages or people waving us down. And then we drop down and get them. We have all these people here. We have law enforcement, we have state guard, national guard. They have no way to go get these people. Yesterday when I was at the Asheville airport refueling, which by the way, the civilian is paying all this out of his own pocket. He's not even looking for a reimbursement. I think we did four refuelings yesterday. And that was like just in half a day's work. We're in Asheville and I saw two Air Force helicopter 60s. And I knew they were PJs just looking at them. And I went up to him like, hey guys, like, what are y'all doing? And like, this is what you need to be doing. This, 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 this is how I'm finding people. And they're like, we can't go. We're waiting on title 10 orders. And I'm like, what? They just, they can't get any authority. There's military helicopters all over here sitting on the ground and they can't do nothing. Even my JSOC boys in Fayetteville, they can't get orders to come out here. It is just the most disgusting thing and they're killing these people. And I don't know why they're doing it. I don't know what kind of conspiracy. I've heard so many things, whatever you wanna come up with, 
but they are literally allowing these people to fucking die in the mountains right now because we can't get helicopters. They got money for everything else in the fucking world right now, but if they could just get us helicopters, we could fly out there and rescue these people. So I hope this video goes viral. I hope these politicians get fired. I hope people get pissed off. They'll probably kick me out of the state of North Carolina for doing this, but you know what? I don't care because if I can save one more life for it, it's fucking worth it to me.